As Earth Firsters, we believe that all species is equal and no species has the right to cause the extinction of another. And that's exactly what's happening in the Redwood ecosystem, that the large corporations are literally liquidating them. They're cutting them at a rate that it's going to be impossible for the forest to recover. And we, we see it as a really a crisis situation. Another parallel to the situation in Mississippi is that although we have very broad public support both locally and nationally, Locally, our towns are under the grip of a stranglehold by these timber corporations. And so just as in Mississippi, they could get away with beating up black kids when no one but Mississippi was watching, with the eyes of the nation on them, uh, it was no longer possible for them to do it. And so we thought that by using the tactics that had been used by those before us, that um, we could bring about, just bring some sanity to this area where they're actually destroying an ecosystem that's 10,000, Ten, tens of thousands of years old for, for mega profits for corporations. They're destroying communities, they're destroying workers' lives. And um, we, th we thought that by calling for national, making this a national movement and bringing the, na the eyes of the nation on it that we could stop this insanity. I think the energy is phenomenal. I think that every attempt that they've made to stop it has only made it bigger. Every, every time they try, they call us the Terra Hydra. Every time they try to stomp off uh, out Earth first, it grows three new heads. I'm actually pretty sick. I'm not here for the fun of it. Um, I was pretty badly injured. I have four breaks in my pelvis. My coccyx bone is crushed. I have limited feeling in my leg, and I don't know the extent to which it will recover. I have to be here in this hospital on my back for a total of eight weeks after which I have to begin rehabilitation to try to learn to walk again or whatever I'm going to be able to do. And I'm not going to be able to participate very much in either the organizing or the activities of Redwood Summer. Well, I think that the loggers are really scared. They're really caught in the middle. Um, anybody who works in the woods knows what they're doing, and they don't feel good about what they're doing. Most people who work in the woods work there because they love the woods. The reason we called for Redwood Summer this year is because the crisis is this year. We don't have any more years to wait. Um, people have gotten together uh, several ballot initiatives to try to restrict the logging. And the reaction of the timber industry has been to try to take every tree that they can as fast as they can to make any regulations a moot point by the time that they're passed. And once, if any, if any laws are passed in the fall, they'll immediately sue and hold them up in court long enough for them to literally destroy the ecosystem. So we see this as a crisis. It's either now or never. So the goal of Redwood Summer is this is not a symbolic act. We hope to literally slow down the logging by using our bodies nonviolently this summer. And uh, we hope to do that so that there will be something left to save by the time any legislation can be passed to regulate them. I think that nonviolence is the only way that we can achieve our goals. I think that we can only answer violence with nonviolence. It's, there's no way that we could even the, the unspeakable horrors that have been done to us are not in our hearts. The people who can destroy forests, we're not that kind of people, and we can't do that. And I think that the only way that we can succeed is if we answer their violence with our nonviolence. Just as the people in Mississippi were fighting for civil rights for black people, um, we this summer are fighting for equal rights for all species. And we as Earth Firsters believe that all species have an equal right to exist and that no species has the right to cause the extinction of another species. You really believe it's urgent? Um, I believe this is our last chance. I think that they're killing the forest. I don't just think this. I live there. I live there. I've seen it. I've seen the miles and miles of clear cut. I've seen the ruined streams. I've seen the ruined soil. The forest can't recover if you continue to cut it and cut it. And these companies don't care. All they want is profits. All they want is money. Their plan is to cut and run. And we're not going to let them do it.